All right, so we're back with another episode, and get the old 4640 fired up here. And so we're gonna do some uh, big squares. And uh, I think we'll probably chop a field too. I mean, and we'll see what we got time for, but. We need shit for bedding, so. Now normally I windrow this up, but eh. it then eventually it seems like it puts it into one row, and then it's kind of a pain in the ass to haul bales, because then you can only really load them like two at a time. So. Anyways, so today I went up and mowed a couple of my boss's places that he mows. See, he's at a funeral today, and I tell you what, it's cold as shit. Oh my god, I was freezing my balls off. It was absolutely ridiculous how cold it was. I hate winter. I, I do. It sucks ass. Anyways, yeah, we're gonna get this uh, bailed up. I think I'll we'll probably just bail this or put this uh, in storage for the bedding and whatnot <clears throat> and TMR mitts and so. I think that's what we're gonna do with these. But. And then uh, I think probably another episode we're going to do some cutting hay and stuff for bales. So. Now we'll see how many, how many bales we get. Might keep some and then sell some. But I got that bale counter so I'll be able to tell how much how many bales we made so far we got 17 so
Didn't make as many as I thought it was going to, so... But... I think we'll keep at least... 10 of these. Yeah, and then I think then we're gonna chop. I eh, might chop two of those. I don't know, we'll see what, what we got. But I'd like to pick up some loose stuff because it is a little bit easier to load up in the TMR on the scene, get the mixture a little bit better, so. this back and go grab the chapa No, I, uh, when I went to go out and mow, there's a cup holder on, because we got a grasshopper mower, and there's a cup holder on it, so I go and I fill up my, uh, coffee cup. I got one that literally holds like three cups of coffee, I swear to God. And so... I go get that all filled up and everything. I, I go stop quit trip on the way uh, up up to my boss's place. And so I go up there and I get the mower fired up and put the coffee in the fucking cup holder. And I get off to check some. I don't remember what the hell I was doing now. But got off my coat cut the fucking coffee cup and dumped it all over the fucking place so yeah I need to say I was a little bit pissed off just wasted all my coffee by dumping it on the ground you almost can't drink it after that Shut that door up. Doesn't need to be open. Go hook up to the chopper. That's the one thing that sucks about this one doesn't have a door opener, so you gotta end up getting in and getting out. Half this video is me getting in and out of the tractor. So, I mean, that's pretty sweet. But, yeah, we're gonna go chop some more. I'm not saying you can actually chop wheat straw in real life. I'm not sure. Well, I mean, I guess you can, but... Eh, fuck it. It's just a game. I figured, fuck it, might as well use it anyways.
I mean, not that I absolutely have to have it, but, you know. There's probably going to be some that doesn't pick up, so... Okay, go get these... sits. Get that fired up. Since we really don't need to um, show moving all this shit back and forth, uh, just pulling all these chopper boxes over, I think we're just going to go ahead and pause the video here and pick up with more chopping. Alright, I'll catch you in a minute. So, we're back. Got the chop boxes over there. 1086 is down there. I'm not exactly sure how far I'm going to get with a uh, chopper box. So, um, I'm just going to keep uh, this thing's kind of a pain in the ass to back up and hook up. I'm not going to lie. Jesus. Some. Oh well, I'm not worried about it too much. But yeah, I'm apparently chopping straw, you can make silage out of it. So um, <laughs> now I've heard of people making like oatlidge or wheatlidge or whatever, but I don't know. I, I guess I wouldn't know if there's really any food value in this, um, especially considering you use it for bedding. But um, <laughs> I guess it, it works. I mean, this is a nice little uh, trick you can do on here. Is if you're gonna combine the weed, anyways. Uh, obviously, you can make bales out of it, but uh, you can trap it too. So I don't know. I mean, if if somebody uh, said. Oh yeah, you can you can chop straw or whatever the hell. Be like, um, did your crazy dumbass get that idea from Gary Busey or <laughs> or what? Um, <laughs> uh, poor Gary Busey, crazy fucker. I remember when he was on uh, Celebrity Apprentice or whatever. Dude was just whacked out of his mind. I mean, he has been for a while, but um, <laughs> when he was on Celebrity Apprentice, it was highly entertaining. <laughs> but I don't know. I think maybe Gary Busey would make a good president, actually. Um, <laughs> and people would be like, well, the United States is crazy enough to elect that crazy bastard as president. Um, we're, we're, we're not gonna fuck with them too much um, <laughs> uh, I just want to see him come out and do a press conference as crazy as and he's got an attention span as much as like a fucking five year old kid so uh, I think he'd be like in the middle of a speech and then like a fucking squirrel or something would come running across the, the lawn or whatever and he'd go chasing off after it but uh, <laughs> I think that'd be funny as hell <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I I just is 
as much as I, I don't really tend to get into politics too much, um, I, I gotta say, I'm probably, if the candidates, uh, for this year are the same as last year, as in Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton, I'm probably, I'm gonna be voting for Trump again, I, I just, it's gotten to the point now where it's, it's either, it's like choosing between a box of shit and a bowl of shit, really. I mean, it really is. That's what, it, you know, the presidential, uh, you know, that's what voting has really gotten down to anymore, it seems like. And it's just, I, I don't know. It's, you're either choosing, like, the last election, either you had Donald Trump, who had done some questionable things, or whatever the hell, you know, the whole grab him by the pussy thing, and the whole fucking porn star thing, and and everything else, or, uh, you were basically gonna vote for Hillary Clinton, or might as well just be voting for Satan at that point, but, I don't know, I guess I'm just probably gonna end up, uh, I'm gonna keep on trumping, I guess, I... And honestly, I wasn't that big of a Trump supporter, but it, it seems like it's it's kind of pushed me more towards it just simply because it seems like anybody who isn't a Trump supporter, the only thing they can make fun of is his hair and, oh, Russian collusion. But meanwhile, anybody who goes against Hillary Clinton ends up fucking dead. So... I don't know, uh, I'm sorry, but, it, I mean, I've had, uh, people that I've known commit suicide, but, uh, 53 of your people do not commit suicide, I mean, seriously, I, it just, wow, I, I just, I don't know, and, I'm not going to say Obama was a terrible president. I voted for him the first term. And the second term, honestly, I voted for him too. But the first term, he did a good job. I, I thought he, I, I felt he was doing doing good. And uh, the second term was just kind of a shit show, in my opinion. It, it really was to me. I mean, I just... I don't know. It's, it's one of those things where... I honestly don't know. And as far as I'm concerned, uh, Bill Clinton, I thought, was a pretty good president. I mean, he was uh, president when I was a little kid, but, I mean, okay, yeah, he had an affair with um, Monica Lewinsky or whatever, but it's just like, who gives a shit? I mean, Kennedy was, on, JFK was probably honestly one of the best presidents we've ever had, and he was banging Marilyn Monroe, so, I don't know, it, does a president do a good job when he's getting some, getting some action on the side or something, I, I don't know, I, I don't know, I mean, it's just, it's one of those things where, Yes, I mean, it, it, it is what it is, but, you know, not in my personal opinion is, I feel like when it comes down to this stuff, you know, keep the president's personal life out of it. I really don't give a shit. I really don't. It, does the president do a good job? And that's, that's, that, that's the main concern. But, you know, whatever. I mean, I guess if I was running for president, you know, I'd probably be, honestly, probably be assassinated, so, uh, I'm gonna tell you right now, weed and prostitution would be legal, um, because then you can tax the shit out of it, and, uh, fix fucking roads, and wouldn't have a deficit, and everything else, and you can literally pay for half this country's problems, and, everything else with weed and pussy I mean that's 
Mr. Pre Mr. Connolly, how do you plan on doing something about uh, school budgets? Uh, weed and pussy. Um, <laughs> Mr. President, how do you plan on paying for uh, these military upgrades? Uh, weed and pussy. Um, <laughs> Mr. President, how do you help plan on helping the American farmer, uh, weed and pussy? Uh, <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'd pass a law where, uh, corn wouldn't go below $4 a bushel again. I don't know. But, it, I don't know, it, it's not an easy job, I can tell you that. I guarantee you it's not an easy job, and that's kind of the frustrating thing was when some people are like, oh, he's doing this shitty job or blah, 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 and it's like, then you go fucking do it. Well, no, that job seems stressful. Well, then I want to shut the fuck up. I guess I, I don't know. It's not a job that I don't think I would particularly want. I mean, it's, you're putting these, you're putting all your hopes and dreams and stuff in, in, in one guy, well, that may or may not happen. I mean, it's... But for me personally, I think it's time to stop having rich people who have nothing in common with the normal American as fucking president. It's... It's not like it used to be, you know? It, it was the idea at one time, and this is not so much a president's because, you know, they only serve two terms or whatever, and that's all fine and dandy. But when you have the same assholes in the Senate and in the House for, you know, they make a career out of this for 50 years? No, I don't think that's right. Not not even a little bit. You know, it's just... it's It wasn't supposed to be that way. You were supposed to be a fucking school teacher or a blacksmith or... You know, a farmer, a rancher, whatever. And then you go and you do this for a few years. And then you go back to what you were doing. It, it was never uh, designed to be a lifelong career. It, it just, it wasn't. And unfortunately, that's what we're dealing with. Uh, career politicians. You know, and... I had a... The, the ones I had, I can't remember where the hell I was at... I think it was at a uh, quick trip or something. Um, and I had a representative come up to me and ask me, you know, who are you voting for? And I was, you know, whatever. And I was like, I don't know. I just, I can't remember exactly what I said, but um, he's like, well, you should vote for me. And I was like, well, let me ask you this question. I said, how often do you go to Washington and stuff to uh, do these things? Well, usually a third of the year I'm spending my time in Washington. Okay, so a third of your time you're doing your job? A third of your time. So I asked him, I'm like, so if I showed up to my to work and I only worked a third of the day and I took like a fucking four hour lunch and shit and and, and that kind of thing, you know, and I only worked a third of the, third of the time that I was clocked in I said, how long do you think I, would, I should have my fucking job? Well, well, that's different. You know, I work from home, too. I said, okay, that's all fine and dandy. I said, you know, I do landscaping and whatnot. So I said, so if I do a landscaping job for a family member or, you know, just on my spare time doing a job for my family member or, you know, mowing a yard or some shit on the weekend... Uh, I'm like, then should my boss have to pay for that? And he's like, well, no, not if it's not for your boss. I said, my point exactly. You know, wh wh why should you get paid all this money for basically working a third of the year and not really doing anything else? You know? I'm like, that's, I said, that's what I don't understand about being a senator or, you know, whatever. Or, and, and kind of, you know, just being in the house or like a representative or a senator. I said, you guys don't, it's, you spend so much money 
I'm running for campaigns and stuff, and then you go and you work a third of the year and you do generally a shitty job anyways, so what's the point? I, I don't I, I don't get it. Yeah, I just don't feel like it was never designed to be that way. But I guess. It, it is what it is, but... I don't know. I, I still think Charlie Sheen should be president. And there's people like, Oh, that's just crazy. What, why, how, why, why would you have Charlie Sheen uh, be president? Well, because... The dude has been doing drugs and banging hookers his entire fucking life. And he's still rich. That shit was money management. It does. That's money management right there. And the other thing too is, I just want to see him come to a press conference fucking coked out of his mind. I just think that would be fucking sweet. I mean, Charlie Sheen as president? Fuck yeah. Sign me up. Because then I guarantee you, weed and hookers would be fucking legal. <laughs> Uh, that's how you make America great again. <laughs> uh, I think we're probably going to end up chopping at least another strip. Because this box has already taken most of this field. So... <laughs> Although this thing moves at the speed of, uh, smell. But I guess. Yeah, I still, uh, haven't changed it to a new haul, and I don't know if I'm going to or not. I gotta look into it, but either way, I think I'm gonna probably make it a tandem if I can just because I know a lot of choppers pull types are uh, tandems so but no I figured uh, get the old 4640 out again and do some work with it and that kind of thing so but This box is just about going to take this entire field. Holy shit. I think I might just end up saying the hell with it and chopping the other two strips too. This, that strip, I think I got, what, 24, 25 bales? So, I think I'm going to keep at least 10 of them to put over in the... Uh, make some TMR and shit. I, I can always pick up some uh, wheat windrow later. I might do that. Maybe pick up a windrow or some shit. But that'll probably just be off camera because I've already done it once already, I guess. It's, it's not really too all that exciting. But. Yeah, this is this box is probably gonna take the rest of this field. I'm just about guarantee it. So I guess the chopper is getting a little bit dirty. It said it was supposed to. I mean the tires are anyways, so I don't know. I think I was thinking about modding up a Fummins again, like the OBS body style. Cause I've I've, I've got an OBS um, for 15, 
and I'm thinking about putting 12 ounce sounds to it because I have an OBS Fummins and it's not going to be the same but I think it would just be kind of cool to have that since I have one in real life but I don't know we'll, we'll see it's got the uh, factory Alcoa wheels the aluminum ones which I like those so they'd probably just stay on there um but I don't know Yeah, I gotta fix that glitch on there too. I'm not exactly sure I'm gonna do that, but yeah, the chopper box that, that should not uh, that should not happen. And the front tires that don't spin and they don't turn with the axle, I don't know. It's just it's just kind of shitty. That's just me. But I guess. Oh, Jesus. I don't know why this chopper does that. Holy fuck. That shit came from Area 51. Because it flies and everything. So. <laughs> we got hover boxes, I guess. <laughs> Oh man, that whole raid on Area 51, I'm sorry, but that just, shit's just laughable. Literally nothing happens. It's, we talk a big game and there was all these memes on Facebook and everything else and uh, nothing happens. I was like, oh, what the fuck? It, just a bunch of people showed up for a big camping trip basically and you had one guy running like a moron in the background. Naruto running, whatever the fuck that is. I just, I guarantee you, all those uh, people who showed up at Area 51 are, are probably virgins. I, I'm just saying. And why the hell would you want to go in there anyways? It's like, really? Government secrets? What? Like, really? It, what do you think is in there? I mean, all I know is I've seen all the Indiana Jones movies and I know it gets put into sketchy warehouses, okay? I, I'm sorry, but I, I don't want to go into some fucking warehouse and then have some dumbass open up the ark and fucking melt my face off. No. I, no. I'm not doing it. That's just, no. That's, that's psychotic. Why? I mean, Dr. Jones put all that shit in that warehouse. It was investigated by top men uh, for a reason. N n don't go fucking around in there. It's, it's just, no. N no, I, I'm not fucking doing that. Besides the fact, I mean, it's like, it's Area 51, okay? It's a government facility, for one thing, and for two, what are you hoping to find in there? You, you, you think you're gonna fucking go in there and it's gonna be like Total Recall and there's gonna be chicks with three titties in there? I mean, I... I no. I, I don't need... I don't need to do that. Because I know it's not going to be like that. Like I said in the last video. I mean, the fake it at eight. That's... That's... What I'm interested in. I mean... If I'm really wanting anything, bring that shit to TV. Yeah. Bring it to TV. Because I think it would be funny. I mean, it'd be more entertaining than most of the reality shows now. 
which on that I guess I forgot to say yesterday um there was the other day well not the other day this has been a little while since this happened but um this lady called in to do the fake it at 8 or whatever and it was going really good I mean it was awesome she was good really good and then she said something like yeah baby your cock feels so good and they shut it down shut it down and it's like what you mean it's Johnny and Biatch that's it's Johnny and Biatch in the morning I mean really Biatch so you can't say cock on the radio but uh, you can say titties you can say uh, wet you can say making me come uh, you can say vagina and you can even you know and obviously you can fake orgasms on the radio but saying cock that's 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 where you draw the line that's that's too much I mean you can even say asshole on or butthole on on the radio butthole what what and and talking about anal sex too it's like what's more offensive saying cock or saying anal sex I guess I don't know but it's <laughs> I don't know I, it's just what it's like seriously I mean it's it's the morning show and they already do this so I don't understand how cock saying that is is that bad like I said you can say titties they say titties on there all the time I mean it's, it's literally like some days every other word is titties and it's just like but cock is too far okay then I mean I guess but anyways That's some bitches getting dirty. Well, I suppose we're winding down on time on the video, so this is probably gonna wrap it up. Um, the next video will probably be making some hay bales. I don't know. Um, I guess a few people watch the chopping videos, so um, I don't know. Yeah, I guess probably the next video is probably gonna be making some hay bales and stuff and I'm not sure what's going to be on after that um so but we'll see yeah the next video is probably going to be uh cutting some hay and making some bales which I'll probably just go ahead and leave most of the hay cutting off camera because it's already been in like two or three videos already so um, but yeah, so, hope you guys, uh, enjoyed the video, but, um, we'll, uh, I guess we'll catch you on the next episode of Farming Simulator, so, until then, guys, take it easy, but, uh, one more thing, titties, alright, guys, we'll catch you in the next episode.